Hey guys, today's video is brought to you by AnyTrans and the AnyTrans app download management feature. This feature allows you to download any application from any region across the world. It also allows you to install previous versions of applications. So if you update an app, you don't like the update, you can always go back by installing the previous IPA downloaded. And you can also download apps in bulk and sync them directly to your iOS device. So if you'd like to check them out, links will be in the description down below. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and Apple today has released iOS 13 developer based data five there's quite a bit of changes that i want to talk about with this new software i want to share all those with you guys as i usually like to do of course we're going to be comparing that to beta 4 so we can see some of the changes here and for those of you who follow me here on the channel we talked about how apple could be releasing this software anywhere from july 29th to august 2nd and yes they released it today monday now public beta testers you probably won't see this until later this afternoon or maybe tomorrow you'll see beta 4 those of you who are in the public beta testing program but without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the software. And before we do begin, I do want to mention that the software was anywhere from 400 to 600 megabytes, depending on your device and the iOS beta that you're coming from. So on this iPhone 10R, my primary device was 552 megabytes. Now, there was one issue with the beta installing process. I did have to reinstall the profile uh, for the beta in order to get the prompt to install it over the air. So if you're having that issue, just go ahead and re-download the profile profile and you'll be able to see this beta populate under software updates so let's go ahead and jump into the about section and take a look at the latest build number for ios 13 and beta 5 17a 5547D is going to be the latest build number for iOS 13 developer beta 5. Now, for whatever reason, this software sort of rebooted the entire OS, and I'll explain that here in a few seconds. We're going to be comparing that to beta 4. Now, this splash screen here is an invitation to have access to a friend, have access to my home application. This was here before, but for whatever reason, as I mentioned, iOS sort of started giving me all the splash screens once again. This one, as well as this one for the home application. Application. So here's the video clip at the beginning of the boot up after installing a uh, beta 5 the software actually prompted me to select either a light or a dark mode setup and the new welcome to iPhone screen here with the dark mode implementation. So that's actually a screen capturing that I did as the process of the reboot was happening. So for whatever reason Apple has sort of rebooted everything with beta 5 here. Uh, of course you guys can anticipate my follow up video here in the next couple of days but let's take a look here at beta 4 on the iPhone uh, 10s Max here and the beta 5 on the 10R. The first thing I do want to mention is that Apple did get rid of the FaceTime attention correction. This will help FaceTime sort of align your vision directly with the camera and FaceTime if you're not looking directly at the camera this would do sort of a AI trick in order to get that perfectly aligned. For whatever reason that feature has been removed here in beta Five, right for beta 4 it was available so it was removed in beta 5 now some of the changes also occurred here within the actual editing tools so if we go to the edit tools here and we go to the markup options here beta 4 we have markup and then we have the manage feature on beta 5 we have the markup and now we have the edit action feature so it's no longer the actual manage feature but it's called now action right there edit action feature it does the same thing just renamed now also under the photos application if we go to the share sheet here let's go back here to beta 4 as well let's go ahead and take a look at the share sheets the first thing you'll notice right away is the font the font is now white on beta 5 on beta 4 it is blue and also some of the icons have been uh, changed a little bit here as well as so you can take a look right there some of the icons were rearranged as well as changed on the actual share sheet at the bottom of the share sheet we also have the edit actions here right there instead of the actual manage options now one thing I've also noticed is that UI itself is also more compact and even more refined as before. So if we take a look here at some of the 3D touch actions right here, we see that the menus once again made smaller, more compact and more refined. And this translates throughout the entire OS. It just feels like everything is just neater and tighter together with the latest beta. Things are a little bit more sharper, including the dark mode theme uh, with the actual settings and all the other dark mode settings within the OS seem a little bit sharper and the text a little bit smaller. Now, this was just my initial 
first look at iOS 13 developer beta 5. You guys can anticipate my follow-up video tomorrow. I'm going to be digging through the software to find anything and everything that's new within the latest beta. This was just a quick first look after an hour and a half of having the software installed on my iPhone. And then a few days later after that, you guys already know you can anticipate my full follow-up with battery and performance information after that. So I want to thank you guys for watching today's video. Hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you real soon. Peace.